Whether you're a Solana maximalist or an Ethereum diehard, you've probably seen the chatter online about Solana swapping to become just another Ethereum application. On the surface, it seems like a match made in crypto heaven, the throughput king Solana solving Ethereum's congestion woes. But those of you with half a brain know there's got to be more to the story. After all, we're talking about two heavyweights in the blockchain game here. On one corner, you've got OG Ethereum, the reliable workhorse still chugging along despite its scaling struggles. And in the other, the slick and speedy new kid on the block, Solana, which has been loudly touting its sub-second transactions and low fees. So today, we're going to take a deeper look under the crypto hood at both networks. So do me a favor and smash that like button as a show of confidence in Solana's potential. And while you're at it, you may as well hit that like button and subscribe to this channel because I guarantee we'll uncover more juicy insights to make you rich. Now that I've got your attention, let's dive into whether Solana is really moving over to Ethereum, or if it's got what it takes to stay in pole position of its own race. And remember, your input makes all the difference, so don't be shy. Slide into the comments with your thoughts as they pop up throughout the video. Now before we go any further, it's important to understand exactly what Solana brings to the table as a blockchain in its own right. Founded back in 2017 by former Qualcomm, Intel, and GitHub engineers, Solana finally launched its mainnet in 2020. And right out of the gate, it showed its potential by utilizing a unique hybrid consensus mechanism called Proof of History. This innovative approach is how Solana delivers scalability like no other blockchain. While old man Ethereum is still lugging around with 30 transactions per second, Solana is sprinting ahead with over 4,000 TPS. The result? Transaction fees that are literally cheaper than a slice of pizza. We're talking fractions of a cent here, people. It's no surprise then that developers have been flocking to build on Solana in droves. Today, there's over 350 projects spanning DeFi, NFTs, online gaming, you name it. And with daily active users currently set at 200,000, it's clear Solana is firing on all cylinders as a leading smart contract platform. The question is, with games like these, why would it ever leave its own promising ecosystem? Now don't get me wrong, Ethereum has been an undeniable pioneer in the crypto space. But lately, even its most diehard supporters have to admit it's struggling under the weight of its own success. As more users and transactions pile on every day, the network has ground almost to a halt. During peak times, you might be shelling out over $100 just to execute a simple token swap. Vitalik and the Ethereum Foundation acknowledge the issues too. Their long-term solution is to upgrade the whole shebang over to a proof-of-stake model through the much-anticipated Ethereum 2.0 upgrade. In the meantime, though, they've got their work cut out, implementing various Layer 2 scaling options like Arbitrum and Optimism to help alleviate some of the congestion. Whether these interim solutions or the full transition will provide enough relief remains to be seen. But one thing's for sure, Ethereum's growing pains have created a big opening for super-speedy challengers like Solana to swoop in. So with Ethereum struggling and Solana surging, the idea of Solana moving over to run as an application on Ethereum kind of makes sense. Or does it? Let's think through the technical implications. For starters, integrating another whole blockchain would require major modifications to Ethereum's architecture. Beyond that, Solana would essentially have to give up its independent decentralization and dynamic consensus mechanism, the very factors that give it such a massive throughput edge today. There also aren't many examples of other blockchains maintaining fully embedded within Ethereum. The few that have tried, like Polygon, still maintain separate networks and bridges between the two. So while some synergy could perhaps emerge between the projects, I just don't see how Solana could realistically port over its entire ecosystem and keep its core identity and performance intact. It would lose the very soul of what makes it special. And let me remind you, Solana has already proven it can thrive quite swimmingly on its own, without having to piggyback off another network's coattails. So while integration with Ethereum could provide some nominal scale, the truth is Solana is perfectly poised to realize its massive potential independently. Just look at the fervent community it's built online and their advocacy for the project. Top VC firms also continue pouring millions into funding further development. That's because the Solana founders updated regularly, releasing six new versions already this year. Each upgrade builds on the last to keep network congestion a distant memory while shoring up decentralization. 
The upshot is Solana simply doesn't need to hitch a ride on anyone else. Its lightning-fast, low-cost transactions are already convincing developers and businesses to build directly on its bleeding-edge infrastructure. And with blue-chip partnerships with the likes of Anthropic, Serum, and FTX, it's crystal clear that Solana leaders are committed to forging their own path forward in this industry. Make no mistake, both Ethereum and Solana have important, though distinct, roles to play in this evolving blockchain landscape. The two networks can absolutely thrive together through collaboration, not consolidation. All right, coin watchers, it's time for a throwdown as we put Ethereum and Solana to the test against each other. I'll be judging them based on the same criteria of tech, markets, adoption, and community. Let's start with the tech. Ethereum was truly groundbreaking with its smart contracts, but has been surpassed in scalability. Solana brings massive throughput with its innovative consensus. For tech, I give Ethereum a 7 and Solana a higher 8. When we look at the markets, Ethereum maintains the size and liquidity crown with a $200 billion market cap. But Solana is surging with an $8 billion valuation. Scores are 8 for Ethereum and 7 for Solana. Adoption is closer than you'd expect. Ethereum has the early mover advantage, but high gas fees hamper usage. Solana is piling on quality projects fast to earn a score of 9 to Ethereum's 8. The community is where Solana shines brightest. Enthusiasts are devoted, with foundations investing heavily. Ethereum has battled, but community scores are 6 for Ethereum and a winning 8 for Solana. By my tally, Ethereum scores 73, while Solana comes out on top with 80. Of course, both will thrive, but Solana may prove harder to keep down. Its combination of tech, markets, and passionate users gives it an edge in this bout. Let me know who you think wins this battle of the blockchains. In summary, while questions will persist about Solana's relationship with Ethereum, I believe the likelihood of an outright switch is extremely low. Both networks have innovative qualities that will appeal to different designers and use cases long into the future. Ethereum laid the foundations, while Solana improved on the formula. Rather than being threats to one another, their cooperation will be key, whether through bridges, fostering interoperability standards, or collaborating on scaling the whole ecosystem. Where Solana truly shines is as a best-in-class, programmable blockchain running autonomously. Its founder-led team continues optimizing to cement Solana as the blockchain of choice for the next generation of applications. So in the end, I guess Solana really will be sticking to its own lane. With fundamentals this promising, it has no reason to pull over for any other project, Ethereum or otherwise. But what do you think? Will Solana stay solo or cooperate more closely with Ethereum down the line? Let me know your views. If you've enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely enjoy watching the next video we have for you here. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and see you in the next one.